Daniel Negreanu, Millionaire Poker Player Daniel Negreanu was born on July 26, 1974. He's a professional poker player, writer, and actor. The names of his parents are Annie and Constantine. Daniel's parents moved from Romania in hopes of giving their children better lives and settled in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Daniel discovered an affinity for gambling, pool hustling, and poker at the age of 16. These games combined with the love and devotion for numbers and probability quenched Daniel's competitive thirst. He became the master of poker at the very early stages of his life as after leaving high school one art credit short, Daniel was playing poker full time and with adults twice his age in various charity casinos and other gambling halls. Not only was Daniel playing in these games, but he was also winning consistently due to enormous talent. As time pressed on, Daniel's bankroll grew. He was the one who always liked competitive challenge, so Daniel set his sights on poker capital of the world, Las Vegas. At the age of 21, Daniel packed up his things, his bankroll, and came rolling down to the City of Lights. There he discovered the scope of poker on a high scale with glitzy casinos of Vegas, were many ways different from the charity casinos in Toronto. In Vegas, he lost his bankroll, returned home to Toronto to rebuild what he had lost. As a great champion, Daniel kept fighting, and he continued the cycle of winning in Toronto and then losing in Vegas. Doing hard and putting his best to become the best in poker, one day it all came together. Daniel figured out how to turn the tables in his fortune in Las Vegas. He worked very hard to fix the flaws in his game, spending hundreds of hours playing, studying, and working diligently to become one of the best. All of the hard work paid off. In 1997, Daniel's talents was recognized and named as the best all-around player at Foxwoods World Poker Final, from where the era of Daniel started in poker. In 1998, Daniel entered his very first World Series of Poker event. He won that $2,000 pot limit hold'em event, and at the age of 23, Daniel became the youngest player ever at the time to win the World Series of Poker bracelet. As a result of that win, Daniel earned the nickname Kid Poker. Talent does not require any introduction because it takes away from the success just as Daniel's success continued, adding another World Series of Poker bracelet to his name in 2003. Daniel demonstrated his all-around ability this time by winning the SHOE bracelet. SHOE is a game that rotates in order, 7-card stud, hold'em, Omaha 8s, or better, and stud 8s or better. Arguably, Daniel had the best year of his poker career in 2004. In that year, Daniel made it to the 11 final tables, which includes two WPT victories, Borgata and Bellagio, and his third World Series of Poker bracelet in Limit Hold'em. That year, his total winnings reached a staggering amount of $4,465,907. Daniel's excellent play throughout the year earned him both the World Series of Poker of the Year and Card Player Magazine Player of the Year titles. He was also named WPT Season 3, 04 and 05 Player of the Year. The biggest announcement was made in 2007 when Daniel becomes a member of Team Poker Stars. Poker Stars are undoubtedly the largest online poker site in the world and is a perfect fit for a player like Negrano, as he was excited to join the team and so does the Poker Stars team. To this day, Daniel is still one of the premium faces of Poker Stars and represents them around the globe. Daniel has continued to have success on Poker Tournament Trail over the past years with winning 21 million in lifetime earnings to go along with six WSOP bracelets and many other championships on the WPT and other tournament circuits around the world. Again, 2013 was another special year proven for Daniel where he arguably had the best year of tournament poker anybody has had since his great 2004. Daniel started the year with a grand style by winning the WSOP Asia Pacific Main Event in Australia and finished it strongly with a second WSOP bracelet of the year in the WSOP Europe High Roller Event. Sandwiched between those victories, Daniel finally tabled the championship events of both the EPT and WPT in the 2500 Limit 27 Triple Draw Low Ball event at the WSOP in Las Vegas. With great achievements in 2013, Daniel was named WSOP Player of the Year, the 2013 Bluff Player of the Year, and the 2013 Card Player Magazine Player of the Year, and was ranked number one on the GPI rankings to finish the year. The Canadian professional poker player has a net worth of $50 million. He is arguably one of the best and most influential poker players in the world and the legend of his game. His fun-loving personality and easygoing attitude makes him a favorite among poker fans. 
His outspoken nature and love of the game have translated into Daniel having some strong opinions on what is best for poker, and he has been constantly named by Bluff as one of the most powerful people in the world of poker in their annual rankings. Negrano has won two world poker titles. He finished second place in the big one for One Drop 2014, which made him the biggest live tournament poker winner in history, with more than $39 million in prize money. Besides a professional poker player, Daniel also broadened his horizons and moved into different business ventures. Daniel contributed a chapter in Doyle Brunson's Super System 2 and began working on two books, one called Hold'em Wisdom for All Players and the other Power Hold'em Strategy. Daniel is a performer at heart and has acted in such movies as X-Men Origins Wolverine and Detention, The Grand and Lucky You, along with appearing on numerous TV shows both poker and non-poker related. He was featured on an episode of Sports Science and had a role in Katy Perry's video for Waking Up in Vegas. Daniel was ranked the best poker player of the decade in 2014 and has appeared in 36 World Series of Poker Final Tables throughout his career. He was the WSOP Player of the Year in 2004 and 2013 and the WPT Player of the Year for 2004 and 2005. Negreanu was also introduced to the Poker Hall of Fame in 2014 due to his services to the game. If you watch this video to the end, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. We'll see you in the next video.